The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. This will be question number 14. Okay. The coefficient of static friction between a certain cylinder lying lengthwise and a horizontal floor is 0 0.4. If the rotational inertia of the cylinder about its symmetry axis is given by I is equal to one half mr squared, then the maximum acceleration the cylinder can have without slipping is what? Okay. So first, we write down that we're looking for max acceleration is equal to what? That's the goal. Okay. Now let's write down what we're given, just to figure out the approach we need to have. We're given that the, the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.4. We're also given the inertia is equal to 1 half mr squared. Okay. Now that we know that we're dealing with this stuff, these are what's given and that's what we're trying to find. Let's try and picture what we're doing here. Okay. What we're doing is we have a cylinder... rolling on the floor, okay? It's rolling this way, okay? It goes around that way, and now what stops it from slipping is the friction that is going that way, okay? So, we need to know that friction is going that way. Here's R. Okay. So how do we relate this to? This is a torque problem. Okay. We're dealing with inertia. We're dealing with forces and around a around a cylinder, which is which is an extended circle. So we're dealing with the circle part. That's what we need to know. We're dealing with torque. Okay. So how do we how do we relate the torques? Okay. So the torque that is being put on that the cylinder is exerting to move, okay, the torque of that is equal to inertia times alpha. That's one of your equations that you're given. Okay, the inertia times alpha. Alpha is equal to acceleration over the radius. So it ends up being that. That's the torque that the cylinder is putting on the ground to move it forward. Now, to keep it from slipping, this frictional force, the, the torque, because of the frictional force, has to equal the torque that it's, that it's rolling with. Okay? So this, all of a sudden, has to equal the frictional force times the radius. Okay? Now, frictional force is mu s times the normal force. Okay, so that now we know that it's 0 0.4 times normal force, which is just going to be mg because it's just going down. There's no angle. There's no nothing. So the weight is being opposed by by the ground, which means that it will be that we can represent it like this times r. So now we have this times this, or this is equal to this. That's what it is. 0 0.4 mgr is equal to. Let's go ahead and change this into the changes from inertia. Inertia is equal to one half mr squared. Okay. So let's go. Let's change that up. One half mr squared a over r. Let's go ahead and cross those out to simplify it. So now we have one half m r a. You can see that these equations, there's a lot to cross out. M, M. R, R. Okay. Now we're looking for this guy. That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and isolate him. I, we isolate him by multiplying everything by 2. So now we have 0 0.8 G 
G is equal to A. That's one of the choices. That's the correct answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.